Our regularly scheduled program, Emerald Lagasse, BAM's Charlie's Angels, will not be seen tonight so that we may bring you the GTV holiday special instead. Sunshine, yellow, orange blossom, laughing faces everywhere. Yeah. So you can come to my world with sunshine, yellow each day. Oh, you can come to my world with happiness all the way. Just take the green. Good evening, welcome to GTV. I'm Johnny, your host with the most. The most congestion in my chest chin right now, and that would explain why I sound more like Barry White than Vanna White tonight. But I'll be all right. See, I can rhyme. This music stuff is pretty easy, but that's next month. We'll tell you more about that later on. Welcome to our holiday special. It's special because I'm wearing this dorky hat and sitting in front of the beautiful Christmas tree. So uh, we've got a lot of excellent stuff lined up for you tonight from the Comedic Circus, along with my cast of angels. We've got Melissa Fox with the news. We've got Martha Stewart. Madam Curious comes your way. And of course, Gloria hosts segment two. That's all coming up. And what's really big tonight, we're going over to Carrot Top's house. Yes, this is great. We've been waiting for this all year. And as soon as he gives us the call and gives us the green light to come on over, we're going over to Carrot Top's house, and you are too. You know, I'm kind of nervous about going over there because it reminds me of the last time we went over to a celebrity's house. It was two years ago on our Christmas special then. And I remember it as if I had just looked at the file tape a couple of minutes ago. Shut up. Hi. Hi, Jen. Nice to meet you. I'm How are Johnny, you doing? the host of the uh, TV program. Thanks for having us over to your house for the holidays. Well, we've been uh, looking forward to it as well. Wonderful. Come on in. Well, thank you. Thank you for inviting me. This is going to be a lot of fun. And, uh, what was that for? Spanky mistletoe. Oh. Have a seat if you can. Oh, here's the dinner. It's a special thing that we prepared for you. It's lovely. Since you're our guest of honor, you get to do the honors. Gee, thanks. Oh, it's so beautiful, you don't know where to start. Good head is so hard to get these days. To, uh, to good head. To good head. Well, I'd like to thank Jen and the entire band for uh, letting us stop by and spend Christmas with the Jenna Tortures. It's been a lot of fun. If it's not over yet, though, we've got this uh, kind of present for you. That's for me? Oh, yeah. great. I'll just give it, up. give it a shot here. How'd you know? It's just what I've always wanted. Uh, yeah, well, uh, well I, I, I promised to take care of her and feed her and water her every day. And, uh, she may be taking care of you, actually, take care of her. Actually, uh, yeah. yeah, well. Uh, Problem over here. Oh, all right, Santa. I just can't seem to get my truck started. Oh, you got a little hose over here unplugged. Oh, <laughs> uh, just gotta uh, plug that back in there. Thanks. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. GTV. By the way, do we have a president yet? Have they figured all that crap out yet? Uh, anyway. Uh, who cares? It doesn't really matter, right? Well, we do have results from our own election here at GTV in the alien versus chicken poll. The results here, uh, well, first of all, as you can see from this tape here, it did have to go to a recount, a manual recount. It became heated at times. There was a lot of argumentation. It actually got downright nasty at times, but we do have a winner that has been declared by the canvassing board. They uh, threw some burlap over these two and decided that chicken is the winner. Upon hearing the news, Chicken immediately appointed Alien co-leader. So that pretty much takes care of that, and uh, all is well with the world, and life goes on. 
Have we heard from Carrot Top yet? Still nothing. I was afraid of that because I had to inform Martha Stewart a few minutes ago that uh, she wasn't going to be doing her bit over at Carrot Top's house and she really didn't take the news that well. Carrot Top. <laughs> didn't take that well at all, so uh, let's be real careful, and nobody mentioned Carrot Top, but here's Martha. Well, now that I have composed myself, let's make some delightful holiday treats for the rest of us. This one is a traditional holiday favorite here at my house, Christmas Cottage Cheese. You start with a brand of eggnog, any brand will do. You open it up. You add a dash of paprika, just as so. You place it on your south window for approximately one week. And Oh, excuse me, I've had this one sitting on the windowsill for approximately 10 days or so. It should be ready by now. For larger Christmas cottage curds, you can shake the box a little. And for smaller Christmas cottage curds, you shake the box a lot. And then you slowly pour. Oh, ooh, look at that. Then you add a little nutmeg and enjoy. Mm. Mm. What do a bland salad and your Christmas tree after a week have in common? They both need a pick-me-up. Who wrote that stupid line. Was that Carrot Top? You are so fired! Excuse me. As I was saying, collect your pine needles from under your Christmas tree and place them on a cookie sheet. Pop them in a 350 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes or until golden brown er. Mm. Just sprinkle them over your soup or salad for an extra holiday zing. Cut. Is this. Uh, are these carrots in my salad? I said from now on, no carrots in my salad! Did you not hear me? I only like carrots that are dead and pulverized. This is going to pass through me faster than chairman of the board ended up at the bargain bin. And Meatloaf had better not pass me up for next month. I'm Martha Stewart, and I'm a good thing. Hi, we're Dirty Barbie, and we might be caroling in your neighborhood next on GTV. <laughs> Lonely? Need a date? Some companionship? So do we. Blonde girls, black girls, Asian girls, and redheads. Worried that you're not cute enough? We don't care. We're, We're blind. blind. Blind girls that are hot and ready for your love. You're all Brad Pitt to us. Call us now. We're waiting to hear from you. Cause blind girls need love too. Call now. Hot blind girls are waiting to hear from you. Only $4.99 a minute. Must be 18. Void everywhere but Palm Beach County. And be sure to check out our new Hot Mute Girls chat line. And for those of you into a little kink, 
Call the hot bitches seeing eye dog line. Adults only, please call now. Hot spot. The hot spot for body piercing and jewelry. Hot spot. The hot spot for tobacco smoking accessories. Hot spot. The hot spot for tattoos. Hot spot. Hot spot. The hot spot at 6550 International Drive, Orlando. Stop by today or phone 407 355 0301. at DirtyBarbie.com? Well, that's good. I'll, I'll be sure to check that out, and you can check us out at GorillaTV.net. Okay. Um, you guys can go. I Thank you so much. That was happy holidays, and Satan loves you. Okay. Bye. Encore. Yeah. Okay. That way to the road. <laughs> Um, uh, is there something else I can help you with? No? Okay, then. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> bye bye Now, you see, that's the very reason why I live in an unlisted house. I never have that problem, and it's really great around Halloween also. Okay, now, what we're going to be doing starting next month in this time slot is bring you something brand new. It's called The Scene. And if you've seen the back of those music newspapers where they have pictures from all the really great parties and everything, well, it's going to be kind of like that, except we're going to be sending out the mini cam. This is the mini cam. We're going to be sending it out, taking pictures from all those really great parties, and bringing the mini cam back and handing it to the engineers, and they somehow get it put on the air. Then you at home watch it and go, hey, that was a really great party. I wish I could have been there. Anyway, what we need you to do is to uh, phone us in and tell us about all those really great parties, or email us, or send it in, or, well, there's all the information as to how you can get the information to us, but do get the information to us. And then we'll send the mini cam out and put it on the air on the scene starting next month. Also, speaking of next month, if you like the G-Band segment of the show, you're going to love next month's show because it's our first annual Battle of the G-Bands. So what we're going to do is we're going to invite all of the bands that have been on GTV in the past year to come back next month and play one more time. Then we're going to ask you to vote on which band should win the coveted Scepter of Greatness that we give away to the GTV Band of the Year. That's coming up on next month's show, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, have we heard from Carrot Top yet? Still nothing. This is really getting annoying now. If you see Carrot Top out there, please tell him to call me right now and then proceed to beat him senselessly about the head and shoulders. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. It's just a joke. No, 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 no. Actually kick him around the shins and ankles. It hurts more. GTV! What the hell has happened to my big K? I cannot believe this. This is no doubt because of your kind. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! You stupid virtue. You know, 
I took this job thinking that I'd just be able to ring this bell so loud that it would just drown out the noises in my noggin. And so far, it's only leveled out the chimes, but the locomotive whistles and the gurgling sounds and the quips from Cammy Top are still there, loud and clear. I say, looks like you're out of uniform, my good man. I could contact your commanding officer for that. You see this guy? He was my lieutenant. Let me see, what number was he? Boy, 173 was the ignoring neighbor next door. This is shocking and totally unacceptable. I will contact your captain. Hey, I'm your captain now. Your complaint has been duly noted. So is your dental files. Now throw it a five spot or else you'll never escape my realm of torture, pain, and eventual decapitation. There you go, there you go. Happy holiday. Horse's his ass. What can I say? I'm a natural born salesman. Hey, buddy. Don't have 33 cents to spare over here? Are you scared that the email system's gonna, like, get rid of your little overrated government job over here? Listen, Mac. I was supposed to be off work 30 minutes ago. We now have 40 fruitcakes to deliver and three bags of mail, so don't push me. You know I work for the post office. Yeah, real hard job, you guy, putting a little envelope inside of a mailbox. Hide the evidence. Hide the evidence. Hide the evidence. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you evidence to hide. <laughs> Dear Scotty, hope you can use this money. Love, Grandma. I sure can, Grandma. Thank you very much. <laughs> Most of the rates are going up. Well, tis the season, the cold and flu season that is, and since I can't come around to each and every one of your houses and share this cold with you, I thought I'd find another way to show my appreciation for you tuning in every week and having your friends tune in every week. Or set their VCRs if they're out partying right now, like some people do on Saturday nights. We never get invited to them. Well, call the hotline and invite us to your parties. Maybe we'll bring the mini cam and if it gets really kinky, well. Anyway, to show my appreciation, we're all familiar with the song The Twelve Days of Christmas, right? Well, I decided to get you everything in that song. We found our 12 drummers making drums, you know, barrels, at the Orlando Drum Company. They can sell you a nice one of their 55-gallon ones for 30 bucks. 12 of them set us back $360. With all the road construction in the area, it's easy to find some pipers laying pipe. Average hourly rate for a piper is about 20 bucks. So for 11 of them, that adds on 1760 bucks before taxes and brings our total to 2120. At first, this was about the only place I could think of for leaping royalty of any kind in this town, but then I had a better idea. Instead of questionable queens, how about Tracy Lords? I really wouldn't mind watching her leap around a little, and a membership to her website only cost 40 bucks, which brings our total up to 2520. We stopped by Rachel's to see our favorite nine ladies dancing. Now, since we're not undercover police officers, we couldn't afford to drop thousands of dollars, but we did tip well, so nine ladies dancing, a couple dances each, some drinks, and uh, we managed to drop 750 bucks. Our eight maids can clean your place up in a snap. They'll cost you about 150 bucks if you're not a total pig per visit. And sorry, these maids do not milk. Well, this bit is starting to run a little bit over budget, and we only have one sponsor so far, so we have to cut corners where we can. Swans are swimming and geese are laying. Well, Geese getting laid. I'm not going to interrupt them if that's happening because they get really cranky, but they're both down here enough. You'll excuse me. Here, birdie, birdie, birdie. Pretty birdie. Come to Uncle Johnny. Nice bird. Oh, oh, no, 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 not my eyes. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. I'm stuck with that. Go for the eyes. Go for the eyes. Jeez, I hate birds. Hey, did you notice that we have a new sponsor? It's Hotspot on iDrive, and it's where we picked up five gold nipple rings. They can do yours for only 25 bucks a nipple and tell them you saw them on GTV. That brings our total up to over five grand now, and oh great, more damned birds. Four calling birds, three French hens, and two turtle doves to be exact. Well, let me say that they're all loud and nasty, they all trashed the inside of my car, and they all tasted like chicken. Now let's never speak of them again. And finally, a partridge in a pear tree. Now just where in hell am I supposed to find a partridge in a pear tree? Hey. Yeah, I'm partridge, and this is my pear tree. We're not for sale. You get the f*** out of here before I beat the shit out of you. Not only is this getting expensive, it's also getting dangerous now, so you're getting a card instead. Later on the GTV Double Entendre Theater, it's a special holiday showing of Frank Capra's classic, Santa's Coming, later tonight on GTV. Oh, yeah. Who's your Santa? <laughs> GTV is 
made possible by the Kids TV Workshop. Christmas at Caratops is sponsored by the letters F and U. <laughs> At this most joyful time of the year, as we gather near friends and family, please take a moment to remember those that help us so much the rest of the year, yet ask for so little in return. This holiday season, help us make their path a little easier to roll in. Season's greetings from Save the Carts, Department J, Knob Noster, Missouri. <laughs> it's Melissa Fox, and it is time now for your holiday edition of Can I Get a Witness News. This time, the illustrious uh, higher-ups, whatever you want to call them, directors, producers, decided that I should do the show, the, the cast, from Santa's lap. <laughs> Which is a wonderful thing, except that Santa is three <laughs> to the wind, you know what I'm saying, okay? <laughs> so, with that in mind, let's begin. Don't touch me. Storefronts on Montreal's popular Mount Royal Avenue commercial strip have twice been vandalized by a group calling itself La Ante Noël Lavant La Temps which opposes what it calls premature Christmas decorating premature. Yeah, by shopkeepers, <laughs> right. About a hundred shopkeepers received letters from the group warning them to remove their Christmas decorations until the first week of December or else. On a Sunday last month, employees at four shops arrived to find white paint splashed on their windows and doors, and employees of three of the shops that were attacked the night before arrived to find their windows and doors had been smeared again, this time with baby oil and reindeer feces. <laughs> <laughs> Sing it with me, friends. Deck the, Deck the halls, halls with reindeer, reindeer feces. Fa la 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 la. Is that Southern Comfort I smell? <laughs> Finland's game chef of the year, Jerry Hannonen, is recommending that enthusiasts of reindeer meat cook up his latest recipe for reindeer tongue toast. When the tongue is cooked right, the skin slides off like you were pulling off a sock. <laughs> it's a very soft and fatty meat, and he said it needs to be seasoned well. But at its best, it tastes even better than steak. Reindeer's a popular dish in Finland and Sweden. This is still better than last year's recipe, which was batter dip cat ears. <laughs> Very gross. Well, there's a human sperm shortage in Canada. Johnny, our host, we've got something for you to do here this Christmas. It will help. It's, it's all good. They've been forcing doctors and patients who want to be artificially inseminated to look south of the border for a frozen <laughs> semen. <laughs> I'm not looking this time. A government investigation of Canadian sperm banks was prompted when a woman became infected with chlamydia. <laughs> New government requirements for more stringent and frequent testing have forced many small clinics to dry up as their store of frozen semen is rendered unusable. Hmm. The demand is now being filled by well-endowed U.S. firms <laughs> that can afford to... That's not firm. They can afford to stay up with the harder new standards. Why am I saying this? This sounds so perverted. Oh my God. You know, I thought Canadians were jerk offs, but I, I'm <laughs> guessing I was wrong. <laughs> <sighs> okay, put it away, Santa. Oh. A soup can donated to a Utah food bank rattled instead of sloshed. Why? Because it contained around $500 in gold chains, pearls, and other gems. It was one of those fake cans, you know, people use to hide valuables, their pot. <laughs> well, now the Utah <laughs> Food Bank is searching for the donor of the fake can so they can return its contents. I'd have kept it if it was me, honestly. You know, somewhere in Utah, there's a person whose entire life savings is a can of soup. <laughs> Sad but true. Yay. So, right now, I'd like to take a few moments to reflect on the passing year 2000. Eh, Alright, wasn't that bad a year. Hey, check out MelissaFox.com and eat more vegetables and don't even think about touching my breasts. <laughs> okay. You know what, this whole bit has just gone to hell, alright? The Santa thing, he smells, it's hot. I quit. Happy <laughs> New Year. That's great. GTV! Ho, 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 ho! It's Madame Claus, yes, and I'm freezing my ass off in downtown Orlando. And we are just down here to ask all the beautiful people what they want for Christmas this year, as well as what they're gonna do for the new year. You know that New Year's resolution. Now, for Christmas, is there any particular gift, you know, the one major gift you're rooting for this year? I need a fence. <laughs> <laughs> 
I would like to have a big old place to live. A big old place to live? What, what kind of carpeting? Red. Do you have anything that you really want for Christmas? A new girlfriend. So any ladies looking out there, come Excuse on. Excuse me, I'll be back. I got another one I need. Come on. You laid more. <laughs> Hallelujah, brother. And for you? Get laid more. To get laid more. That's what everyone wait, wait, wants wait for Christmas. Oh, Jesus. Let's see. Last longer or something. Oh, we oh, do do last, it. Huh? To last longer. Wait, that makes you look bad, oh, though. Shit. Oh, dang it. That I can break my mother out of the nursing home and have her move oh. in with me. Oh. Oh my goodness, getting into the family situations now, aren't you? And Good that, for you. And that I can sue my brother. I have to be very careful when I'm handling this man, I tell you what. Now, have you thought about what you want for Christmas this year, little boy? No, but no. I'll take you though. You oh, come on, man. how you doing? What about a New Year's resolution? I won't let you leave. Oh, there you go. That's Bye. the best answer I've heard all night. I haven't came up with one yet. Well, you better start thinking, mister. <laughs> I tell you what, Madam Clausius is going to come after you, all right? All right. All right, go on. I am planning on many resolutions for this really? year. Really? Would you like to share just one? I plan to behave. Oh. That's, that's where I'll start, see? Oh, do behave. Do, do, do behave. Oh, How my. Do do? Oh, oh, my New Year's resolution is to become a more prolific artist. Really? Somebody I know, gets it's deep. Too serious. It's, it's too very serious. deep down here now. I must go ponder. Thank you. I'm gonna go ponder no, thank now. Thank you, Santa. Okay, there you have it. That's what everyone in Orlando has on their wish list from nice. Madame Clausius. I'm just kidding. You know who it's from? From the fat man himself, Family Oma. This kid in it, Santa Claus. So, everyone have a great holiday season and stick to those New Year's resolutions. Especially the one where we don't talk about carrot top. All right, bye bye. Ooh, I wish he hadn't have said that because it's really a sore point at this point because uh, he promised to do the show, but apparently he doesn't care about you or us. So, the only way that I can really sum up my feelings is in song, and I apologize for this, but. <clears throat> You're a dirt bag, carrot top, just a lying sack of goo. Your heart is filled with unwashed socks, your soul is filled with gunk, carrot top. The three words that best describe you are as follows, and I quote, stink, stank, stunk. Liar to that too. Gee, thanks for uh, making our Christmas special so special, Carrot Top, and you might have started a brand new tradition. Like next year, join us for Christmas, not at Tiger Woods' house. Anyway, we've got a really good show for you next month, and uh, thanks to everyone who made this show great, despite the fact that certain local comedians felt that they were too good to appear on the show. Anyway, join us for the Battle of the G Bands on the next show. That's coming your way late night, January 6th. Have yourselves a Merry Little Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good night.